Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I felt like going running. Happy birthday to me. I'm out here in the middle of Arizona, enjoying the the outdoors <laughs> on the edge of Phoenix. There's houses all around. It's kind of like a, a little bike trail, I guess. Maybe a lot that they haven't built on yet. Who knows, maybe an HOA owns it and I'm trespassing, who knows. But I have no ill intention. I'm walking along some paths. How are you, YouTube? How you doing? Having a good day? Ah, September 8th, 2020, I turn 31 years old. I feel very young. I feel 31 years young. I'm in the best shape of my life, 31. I feel bad reading things on the internet that are funny. They're, they're like, I'm over 30 and I can feel my body falling apart. <laughs> okay. Should go for a run too. So, uh, my mind yesterday was occupied with a negative experience and I wanted to share how to deal with that. So, a lot of times like, my mind will get stuck on something. It'll just repeat it, replay it over and over. And you need some way to deal with that. When you feel bad about something, it's not that the thing you're thinking about is bad. It's not that they've done anything to you, if it's, if it's a person or an action or anything like that. But those negative feelings are coming about from inside yourself. You are making the negativity because Whatever it is you're thinking about isn't there in front of you. I don't mean, I hope. Otherwise, why are you replaying it in your head? You gotta deal with it now. It's right in front of you, go. <laughs> this is interesting. These have been here forever. Just like camping gone wrong when the chupacabra finds you. So, yesterday, we were out buying cars for my sister, you know, looking to find one for her and as we pulled up to a stoplight, there was a, a homeless guy yelling at the car in front of us. And, you know, it's kind of like city rule, I guess. You just don't look, just don't, you don't pay attention. Maybe that's part of the problem in a way, but every time you look at a homeless person, they always like bring their fight to you. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes they just ask for a dollar. But in this case, the person's yelling at a truck at a stoplight. I'm, I'm sure they're super peaceful. Uh, <laughs> and so the stoplight goes on for a very long time, or what it feels like a very long time. And this person is yelling at my sister and I, she's in the passenger seat in front of me. I'm in the passenger seat in the back. And he's just yelling things through the window at us. And I look over and I smile near uh, what I hope is the end of the red light. Cause I mean, you just, eventually you're gonna look to the right. It's how it works. You don't just, people don't just stare straight ahead. It's weird, it's weird. And I look, I look over, we make eye contact and I smile and he, he continues his mockery of our car passengers. And I was thinking about that for most of the day. Cause it's, not a intense confrontation, not the most scary of situations. It's just like, what if this guy picked up a brick that was sitting there on the sidewalk and just threw it through our window? I, what if he was like hitting the car with any object or like, what would I do in that situation? What would I have to do? I'm the only guy in the car, okay? It's not like my pregnant wife and my sister are gonna get out and be like, Luke, hold my beer. Because right. <laughs> clearly my pregnant wife and sister are drinking while we're driving, right? Allegedly. So it's it's one of those situations where it's like, I don't think about this. I don't think like what's gonna happen when I'm when I'm driving in the car and things get violent. What do I have to do? <sighs> It didn't get violent. And I guess maybe I should think about that more because I have a kid on the way. In the end, it was just a, I'm trying to be very nice here. It was just a homeless person yelling at some people. And that's sad. It makes you wonder like, where is that person coming from? Are they high? 
Are they crazy? Did they just become homeless 30 seconds ago? And so they're like in shock and they're just yelling at anyone that goes by? I doubt it. But, but it makes you sad because it's like, how, how do you even go about helping this person or fixing the homelessness problem? Or I, I have no idea. I have no idea. How do you reason with someone who starts yelling at someone who hasn't even acknowledged them yet? How do you have a conversation, a constructive conversation with someone who's mocking you through a window just because you're in their vicinity? I shouldn't have looked to the right. Oh. <laughs> but seriously, that's uh it's just kind of been on my head on my on my head. It's been on my head. It's been on my mind because it, it touches on a lot of different stuff going on in the world right now. Whether it's social commentary, justice, uh all kinds of social issues that are going on. I want to keep this channel as clear of controversy as possible. But we can all agree that the world has problems, right? And so this is this is much more than just like cutting your finger while cutting carrots or something. This is there's there's a, a multifaceted problem encased in the situation I'm describing. Okay? Let's put it that way. And so that's how as a society, can we turn that around? Oh man, that's a huge question. I don't know. What do I do if things get violent in that situation? I can think of a handful of things and that's fine. But what, what's really bugging me? Why did my mind yesterday, I, I just thought of this again. I want to make this video today. Maybe today I thought of it once or twice, but like, why is that still on my mind? And that's the wrong question to ask because there, there are whys. And there are reasons to think about stressful situations. That wasn't very stressful, but it is stressful. I, what you've got to realize is that that negativity, that homeless guy didn't put that negativity in me at all. No, he was just being him. He was just doing his own thing. He didn't hit the car. He just mocked people who stopped at his red light. Okay. So any negativity is in me. I have a huge fear. So I have a huge fear of becoming homeless. And nothing in my life really indicates that I will. I'm making right choices, paying off my debts. I show up to work on time. I don't steal shit. I don't hit people. I'm pretty boring. So I don't think it's a fear of homelessness. Maybe it's a fear of helplessness, you know, like a, a feeling of helplessness. I'm not very well trained in combat. I didn't have a gun in the car. If, if my family was threatened, what would I do? Call the police? Okay. I mean, obviously that's what you should do. But are they right around the corner? What if I have to take action immediately? You know what I mean? It's... Maybe that's it feeling of helplessness okay fair so how to get past that how do you work through that well one you gotta realize that those feelings are in your body like i was saying they're part of you so they're in your body and your body has to dissipate them i'm not gonna fix these feelings by thinking about it all right it's not gonna be something where i sit down and breathe and it goes away though breathing is part of it you need to breathe deep into your belly. Let that air in again and again and again and relax everything in your body. Yesterday I had my wife rub my neck. I was all tight, not because of this, <laughs> but because massages feel good, because I work out. Today I'm going for a run. And that's really what you gotta do. You've got to move. Motion creates emotion. You move, you get out there, get some exercise. <sighs> you work through any of those negative feelings. I'm sorry, my mind is like blank right now. My alarm went off again. You would think I would reset it. <laughs> but no, I leave it to go off in the middle of a recording. So <laughs> how to move past the negativity is really simple. First, you have to physically work it out. And this is going to sound like a really tedious part. 
You've got to do cardio in your life. You've got to. Every problem in your life is so small when you run a mile a day or more. Every problem is so tiny and easy to overcome. You just, it puts things in perspective. It might be a huge issue. You know, maybe you're stressed out about something that can't change, like a disability. Fine, fine. But you're dealing with that disability will be better because of the cardio that you do. I promise you. It puts those little stress hormones in perspective for your body. So for me, that's what I do. Get outside, go work out. That's the first thing you gotta do to get past this negativity inside you. Second, how are you breathing? Like I said earlier, just sitting there and breathing and thinking about stuff isn't gonna fix it. That's true in its own way. But how are you breathing? Really pay attention to this. Because if your breathing is shallow, is maybe quick, but you're not getting a lot of air in. It's just <laughs> maybe it's shallow like that and really slow. Your body isn't getting the oxygen it needs. How can you be relaxed if you're suffocating? Okay? You gotta breathe deep, deep. Breathe with me, ready? What I'm imagining is air filling up my entire torso all the way down into like right below my belly button, expanding like a balloon inside my chest and belly. I'm filling up my torso with air. And as that balloon expands, I'm, I'm breathing into my pelvic floor. It's so full. Oh, and then letting it out and breathe deeply like that over and over again. What you're doing is filling your body with oxygen, which it needs something, something science, you'll feel better. So make sure you're breathing well. And those two things, honestly, that's gonna move you past the negativity way better, way better than pretty much anything else in your life. I know some people who take pills for anxiety, who take medication for stress. And that's, that's fine. I, I think there's a place for that. But I think it's a, a short-term solution. Think of our ancestors. All they had was movement and hunting and eating what they could find or catch. When they got down about something or stressed out about something, how do you think they dealt with that? They either A, had to solve the problem and then they had the reward system, you know, dopamine release because you solved the problem, or they moved past it, literally. There were nomads chasing after herds of food, right? So they literally moved past the problem and you've got to do the same. Get out there, go for a walk, go for a jog, get your blood flowing, get your heartbeat up. You'll feel so much better, so much better. Over time, I'm not saying this will work immediately. I'm not saying like, oh, look at that. The homeless guy yelling at my sister is completely out of my mind. Yeah. That's fair. I slept on it. Got some cardio in. I do feel a lot better today. But that feeling is still there. I mean, I got a kid on the way. I'm worried that the world is not as padded as I would like. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to have to deal with that. I have to deal with the stress that that feeling brings. You need to run, boy. <sighs> that's how I deal with it. And that's how you should deal with it. Get out there. Get your blood flowing. And make sure you're breathing deeply. Because I care about you. You watching this video. I do. And anyone in your life should care about you. Why would you click on a video of how to remove negative feelings from your life? How would you even, why would you even click that? It's because you're trying to do something good for yourself. And that's good. You're trying to take care of yourself. Because that's exactly how we're going to make the world a better place. You take care of you so that the world around you gets a little bit brighter. Think of like a lantern, and it's got a burnished, tarnished covering on it, okay? It's a lantern, it has a light on on the inside, but the covering is dirty. How much light is getting through that? You have to make sure that your covering is untarnished so that when your light is shining bright, you can illuminate everything around you. And that's how it'll make the world a better place. Go take care of yourself. Happy birthday to me.
<laughs> Happy birthday to you. Assuming it's your birthday. Thanks for watching. Bye.